every child wants to be a firefighter when they're younger. I think it's a, a lifelong dream. And when I got the opportunity, I thought, absolutely. I was terrified that I wouldn't be able to live up to the, the physical standards required to be a firefighter. But uh, going through school, I was able to keep up with the men and the women I went to school with were able to keep up. And I think that as a female going into a, a career that's really physically demanding, as long as you can keep up with your coworkers, your male, um, the males in school with you also, that that's all that really matters. If you can do what the males can do, and um, that I think that every woman should be able to do whatever job they want. It's about the standard. If you can meet the standard and you can exceed the standard, get in on the team. Add to the cause. My father was in the military, three-time Vietnam veteran, 21 years in the military, so I'm a military brat. I've grown up around it. I would say that I've loved the military from since I was a kid. I know what it's about, and I've loved it. It's, it's in me, it's natural. It, it, com it comes to me naturally as an Army brat. I hardly feel qualified to represent the women today. Their awesome accomplishments, like I said, it just, you know, words cannot, I don't have enough time to be able to state what the women of the past did for us. What I would love for the audience to take away today, just take some, take some time to give tribute to the ladies who gave their life's work toward this worthy cause.